Good morning. Just returned from a brisk walk with my furry friend. Hi. Little GSP, German short hair pointer. It was cold outside, wasn't it? Yeah. Anyway, we wanted to test the aura rings and see if they automatically detected a workout, or at least the aura ring three, this new one. What'd you think? It was cold outside, wasn't it? It was cold. Anyway, he's a great dog. Well, hopefully you have a furry friend to go walk with. Let's uh, dive into the Aura Ring 3. Some people call it the Aura Ring Gen 3. Uh, meanwhile, he just wants to be pet. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks for clicking on by. And this is a day in the life with the Aura Gen 3. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> Let's get to it. This is going to be fun because I have both rings. So on my left, we have the Aura Ring 3.0, and you can quickly tell because it has all those other sensors. And then on my right ring, which apparently my fingers have swollen up. <laughs> well, they were cold, but then I came inside. Uh, hang on, need some water. Cut it off. And now it's clean. So uh, this one, slightly different, uh, but you can see the different sensors in there. There's only three where this one has eight, but then on the website it says seven. So that's kind of confusing. So once again, I'm documenting everything on my Remarkable 2 tablet. I started this yesterday, just kind of tracking steps, activity scores. And on day two of this study, it's quite the variable. On the left, we have Aura Ring 3, because it's on my left hand, so that's easy to remember. And it's synchronized to my iPhone, whereas the Aura Ring 2 is synchronized to an Android phone. But look at the differences in the activity score. 78, 84, okay, six points. And then readiness, 78, 87. And then the step count is higher, but yet, I'm right-handed. I would think I'd have more steps on this one. Anyway, and yesterday the day ended a little bit variable as well with activity 64 with the Aura Ring, through, Aura Ring 3, whereas 88. But the step count was almost identical, as you can see, 7,079 and so on. So let's take a look at the sleep for the first two nights that I've had this. Right, so I'm doing a screen capture, hopefully this works. So again, on the left, we have the Aura Ring 3, whereas on the right, we have the Aura Ring 2, the Generation 2 that's pretty much two years old now. So if we look, okay, there's the readiness score, and the readiness score is 87 on the old technology and 78 on the new. Sleep score 84, sleep score 83, okay. And if we go to the sleep tab and compare it, you know, side by side, really close, which is good. Resting heart rate, 62 for both. Sleep efficiency, 94 for the three, 895 for the Gen 2. So again, everything seems to be ranked higher for the Generation 3. So we have the total sleep side by side there, and it's really close on everything, basically. Uh, three minutes extra sleep with Gen 2, good versus optimal, REM sleep, really close in time, deep sleep, really close, latency, spot on, and timing, both optimal, and the graphs, almost identical. And then we have lowest heart rate, average HRV, Okay, 21 with Gen 2, that's interesting. And a max 29 milliseconds where this one was 84. Anyway, slight variability there. And then we'll go to the readiness tab. I don't know why I'm getting a different readiness. And then the body temperatures are different, but respiratory is the same. So that's interesting as well. So we have the recovery index. So basically what you're getting that's new, you get the explore tab. Whereas this one, you know, you go to home, 
and you can click plus and you can do, you know, take a moment. Oh, you have to download it. Okay, so we'll let that download. Where here you have the take moments just all combined, but you can also still click the plus and do a unguided session, which is new. Where this one, when you click the plus, you don't have that. So there's another difference between the Aura Ring 3 and the Aura Ring 2. And then we have the activity progress. That's pretty much the same. And then here's the live, live heart rate. Now, because I've been moving around so much, you're not seeing a recent heart rate, and it's 17 minutes ago. So if I click on it right then and there, it's going to talk to the aura ring, and then you see the green lights light up on the inside of the ring. And then now it's trying to read my heart rate. I'm going to put it back on, and it's saying 70 beats per minute right now. And then of course you can click on that and you have your restorative time, that's new as well. It takes a bit to get it through the day. And then if I can go back to yesterday, my restorative time was 18 minutes and on day one, 24 minutes. Now, it's I need to do more reading, but right now it's kind of restorative time is almost like resting through the day. I thought they were gonna do kind of a recovery time Anyway, uh, we'll, we'll see what they do with this. And if you click learn, learn more, it tells you about it. It represents periods during the day when your body and mind are recharging. Health is all about balance. So yeah, you, you want restorative time during the day and to take breaks. So that's fun. And that's about it. So if we click plus and do take a moment, there we go, begin. Get comfy, see how your body reacts. Uh, we can save it to Google Fit, let's get started. And then, so now, some similarities between the Gen 2 and the Gen 3. So you have presence, you have breathing, but here you have very similar, so a lot of crossover. And you have a check the body status. So at any time, with the Gen 2, yeah, you can't just see your heart rate. You have to like take a moment or do some meditation. So it is nice to have your live heart rate pretty much at any time during the day. And when you're holding still, it's going to take measurements every so every several minutes. And if we click on the graph, you can hold your finger down and view these little half hour windows when it's taking the different measurements. Okay, so let's take a look at yesterday's sleep. 83 for Gen 3, whereas Gen 2 was lower, a 77. Time in bed, close, a little bit higher on the Gen 2. Now if we scroll up, we have total sleep, spot on. Efficiency, a little different. Good versus optimal again. And deep sleep, close, a lot more on the Gen 3. Timing about the same. Then we have the details, very similar as well. So what I was wanting to prove is kind of the accuracy and the consistency of the Aura Ring. You know, when you have two devices by the same company worn on the same person, that's me, the guinea pig, uh, they're both within really similar patterns and really similar data. A little bit of variability and that's why I'm doing more than one day so I'm gonna go through the whole day and I'll follow up with you and we'll see how the two rings compare and hopefully we'll get some new stuff released from Aura while we're doing this study that would be so awesome because I'm really looking forward to some of the new features that the marketing team has promised us all let me show you just a quick summary of what's coming up so here's what's new on the Aura Ring. We have restorative time, workout HR, that's coming late in 2021, but you know it's December, so it's already late 2021. We have all day HR, which I just showed you, the seven temperature sensors. So I don't know what the eighth one is because if you look, there are eight. There's that glowing heart rate, that's new, where these are infrared, they don't light up at all during the day or the night. We have the automatic activity detection. I haven't got that to work yet, but I did enable um, 
GPS and location for the app. And then breathing relaxation, we'll explore those soon. We have 99.6% heart rate accuracy and 98% HRV accuracy, SpO2 sensor. That's coming next year is what they're saying. And that's only going to be during your sleep. And then also new, the Aura membership. Now what's curious is when you're in the new app and you go to settings, so right there it says manage membership, active lifetime member. So it gave me a lifetime membership. Whereas in the other app, whereas in the other app on my Android phone, when I go in there, it's asking me to upgrade to a new ring. It does, it's not saying any membership. So we'll see what happens with that. Well, I'll check in with you all in a few more hours. We'll go on some more walks. Maybe I can get a run in today and we'll see what the rings tell us throughout the day. Living with smart rings, pretty fun stuff. So now the afternoon, just about 1.30. Just got back from another walk. I mean, when the sun is out and you have clear blue skies, you gotta get outside. Anyway, just hoping that uh, my ore ring tracked everything correctly. Let's see what happened. So this is the downside of some other devices when they auto detect when you stop or if you pause too long to get a drink or tie your shoes or check your bicycle, the auto recording ends quite quickly. This is the Galaxy Watch 4. I'm not gonna spend too much time on that because look what happened. Because look what happened within the Aura app. There it is, walking 1.8 miles. Oh, that's imported from health. Hang on a second, it was right there. There was a walking workout and it wanted me to confirm just like you do for the naps. I have the screenshot. Look, there's the screenshot. See, walking, confirm. I don't know what to say. The activity was there per the screenshot that I had, <laughs> but uh, it looks like after I ended the workout on my Apple Watch, it might have overwritten that auto-detected workout because now I just have that activity. And there was one from earlier, but now that one disappeared, so... It looks like uh, Aura is still making some changes in the OS iOS app. And the funny thing is, heart rate was 49 minutes ago. I guess that's because I was on the walk for about half an hour. Hmm, interesting. So heart rate while working out is still a work in progress with the 3.0 Aura ring as I just tested and verified, or rather, as I just verified through testing. Hmm. Well, at least we know it's importing through uh, Apple Health correctly, so that part's good. Yeah, 1.8 miles, that's about what, that's exactly what Apple detected, and Samsung as well. So, well, I'll measure the stats and we'll continue this as the day goes on. Good job, Oura Rings. And such pretty boxes, right? Look at those, look at those lovely boxes. Well, it is the end of day one of the video documentation, but really it's the end of day two. Uh, yeah, the aura ring. <laughs> it's interesting. It's, a, it's been a crazy day, if the hair doesn't speak for itself. Not ashamed of my wild, crazy hair. Uh, bedhead, I embrace it. The aura ring, comfortable to wear. There are a few things that make it uncomfortable, and I'll cover those tomorrow. I'm making a list. But the summary of the day, let me show you. So I decided to kind of focus on the activity, resting heart rate, and all that fun stuff. And they're all really, really close. And also the activity score, steps, and battery life. I'll add the heart rate in a minute. But yeah, interesting. So 87 
activity score for the OR ring 3, whereas the 2, 89, 78, 87, 12,899 versus 12,686, which makes no sense. And battery life, yeah, surprisingly, this one's a champ. It is brand new, whereas this one I think is three months old, but that's neither here nor there. Now, as far as resting heart rate, that's kind of hard to determine because the Aura Ring 2 doesn't have that during the day, only at night. So I'll have to check that tomorrow. But so far, it's, you know, pretty good. My daytime, my lowest was 53. So that's good. Anyway, it is 2240 and it is time for bed. I, I sent a message to Aura. I really had hoped that this was going to have a small little LED on there so you could see your heart rate on the ring. And I would hope that it was going to tell the time of day. It does not do that. But oh, it's reading my heart rate right now. Yeah. And that's the end of day one. I'll see you tomorrow morning or maybe tomorrow late afternoon. I'm going to take another walk. I figured out, uh, not, not a bug per se, maybe a bug, could be a feature request. When you have your Aura Ring connected to either Google Fit or Apple Health, and then if you upgrade to the Aura Ring 3, well, I'll tell you tomorrow. Good night.